Let me tell you a story. This story represents a real turning point for me in my life. I was working deep into some design strategy work that I was working on and my, my wife came in to give me a hug. My immediate reaction was to be all grumpy. Get off, I'm just working. Look, I'm just too busy, too busy. I just need to get on with this. I can, I can hug you later. She was a bit you know, hurt by this and I was a bit grumpy by this and it caused a bit of friction for us. And for many, you know, many of us, maybe you just dismiss this as just something that happens, right? Maybe people shouldn't interrupt you at your desk. Maybe that's the rule you have for your kids. Your kids can't come in to do that. Your partner can't come in to do that. But for me, it was a turning point because I didn't want to be like that, right? I didn't want to be that guy who was too obsessed by his work to not really care about his family or those around him. You know, the way you turn up in one place is how you turn up in every place. If I wasn't being great to my family, what other personal relationships or work relationships was I also not turning up properly for? And what the reality, what reality dawned on me was that I was really focusing too much on getting things done versus getting the right things done or doing the right things within my life. And that was both true in terms of my relationship with my family, but also in terms of the work that I was doing. I was absolutely prioritizing motion over movement. I was doing lots of things, but not necessarily the right things. I used to pride myself on being extremely busy and interruptions used to make me really grumpy. People always commented on how much I got done and how busy I was. But was I doing the right things? No, I was not doing the right things. And that moment really was a turning point for me where I didn't want to be that guy who was like that, who was grumpy when somebody tried to give him some love and attention. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be there for the important people in my life because that for me is my number one priority is being there for the important people in my life. And that extends right through to my family, but also obviously to the people I work with. They need me much more than I need to get the work done that I need to get done. Because let's face it, the work can get done any time. The people are the most important thing in your organisation and your life. So this is part one of a series where I'm going to be talking about being busy and the badness of being busy. Next time we're going to have a look at why busy busyness is addictive, the addiction to dopamine, to adrenaline that comes from being busy over the all of the time and how that motion over movement can really be counting against you. So stay tuned for that over the summer. Part two is coming next week.